Hi guys, friends and subscribers, I should say, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosedale here bringing you today's video from Jerusalem, day 12 of our current uh, conflict with the uh, people in uh, the Gaza Strip or really the terrorist organizations there. Anyway, I want to move back to more politically neutral territory today and uh, talk about a website that is useful if you live in Israel and uh, you are not happy with the service you're receiving from your telecom company or your internet provider, your ISP. Um, it's a good website to know about and I'm just going to be low tech today and bring over the domain name. It is called netek, N-E-T-E-K dot C-O dot I-L. I will put it in the description as well. And this website exists solely in order to help people disconnect from their ISPs and from their telecom companies and whatnot. Um, now, it's not available in English. It's available in Hebrew, Arabic, Russian, and uh, and Hebrew. That's it. So three different languages. And you might be wondering, why does this exist? Well, if you're not living in Israel, you, it might be interesting to, to... This is probably something you'll end up learning the hard way. Israeli internet providers and phone companies are not famous for their excellent customer service. In fact, quite the opposite. And frequently these companies will make life as difficult as possible if you try to disconnect your service. Yesterday, I actually disconnected from Pelophone. I picked up a, um, a 5G subscription for them and they just basically don't have 5G in my area. So I said, this is useless to me. And they made it quite difficult uh, to actually just say, guys, you don't have 5G please just disconnect the line. I'm not interested. Um, so this is what it's for. If you don't have time for this kind of uh, charade of arguing with customer service and you just want to bloody well disconnect, that's why it's called netek. In Hebrew, to disconnect is called lehit natek. That's the verb for to disconnect. So lehit natek et shirut would mean to disconnect the service. Um, and therefore it's called Netex. So it's like a, you know, disconnection helper as such. So I just want to show you guys how it works. Um, I've already filled the form where it's auto populated the field. So I, uh, can save myself the trouble of putting them in again. Um, I'm just going to go through the Hebrew user interface. They give you this nice little, um, little kind of countdown timer or percentage stuff in the left. So you can see how close you are to filling it. And I've just picked up a fake Teodatsahut number for the sake of populating this form. So I'm just going to go through the fields. Su Cheshbon can be Prati or Iski, Shem Prati, Shemesh Bacha, Teodatsahut, Aba Sifrot Achonot Shel Katis Ashrai Shel Letashlum, Doa Electroni slash Mail, Telephone Li Tirat Kesher, Yishuv, Rov, Mispabait, Su Kashirut, and Telephone Lenituk. So just going to. If your Hebrew is uh, limited, and mine is very far from perfect, but good enough to complete this form, I'll just tell you guys what all these fields mean. This is your first name, second name, Teodat Zahut number, four last um, numbers of your credit cards that you paid for the subscription you're trying to disconnect, email for contact, phone for contact, your address, postcode, service you wish to disconnect, and telephone in Etook, it's important to know that this field here is the line you're wishing to disconnect. So I'm just going to put in a fictitious number. And then you can click here on Schlach Netek in order to send the disconnection request. And I'm going to do that right now. And then it's going to say, so I just put in an email for the purpose of this demo. Uh, it says, Shlachanu lacha harega mail katan rak bishvil levade. Uh, your email address so there's a verification check and I'll just show you what this form will produce okay so I've just got the disconnection request confirmation letter and um, you're going to have to click on something in order to confirm so I'm just going to click the button here and then once that works you're going to get this nice pop-up saying Mazal Tov uh, it's uh, gone through successfully and if you want you can complete more disconnection requests I hope this video is helpful it's Netek N-E-T-E-K and uh, they cover basically the Israeli internet providers, most of them at least, as well as the Israeli telcos. Um, so if you are having trouble disconnecting, um, definitely recommend using this website. What happens is when you complete this form, it sends out a request on your behalf to the correct email address and you'll receive as well shortly after you confirm a uh, copy for your own records. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you do want to get more videos from me regarding life in Israel, um, in all its various wonderful facets, then uh, please do consider subscribing to this channel.